All right, guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be testing cut proof gloves. We're going to see if this glove can keep this sword from cutting my hand off. Just kidding, that's not really my arm. I'm sure somebody believed that. Anyway, we are, are going to be testing five sets of cut proof gloves from Amazon. All right, guys, so it turns out that I don't know how to count, and I actually have four pairs of cut resistant gloves, not five. And just a little background, I was plan planning to do this video and I was looking on Amazon at the different types of gloves and I started noticing that most of the gloves were made out of different materials and they were at different price points, but yet they all had the exact same level 5 rating. So I don't know how you can have different materials and different qualities of gloves, but yet they still have the same rating, which would indicate that they were supposed to perform the same. So I just decided to buy four random pairs of gloves and we're just gonna test them and see which one's the best. First we have a No Cry brand for $10.99 a pair. And then we have True Chef that is $19.99 for three gloves. And then we have these Anti-Cut with two T's, Hansky. And this is just one glove, but it appears to be made out of some type of like chain mail or metal. And then we have, and these are, this one was uh, $16.99. And then we have these Dexfit gloves that are cloth and rubber. And these are $12.50 for a pair. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start with the No Cry gloves. And so far these, they just feel like normal cloth gloves. Like if you, if you gave me these gloves, and didn't tell me they were cut resistant, I wouldn't know. I would just think that these are just regular cloth gloves. So what I'm gonna do is <laughs> bring out the fake arm again. And we're just gonna put this glove on this arm, which I never really thought I'd be putting a glove on a fake arm. <laughs> and then I have this uh, paring knife and we're just gonna simulate, say, say you're cutting something and you slip. And you, you can see that it cut it right there. So that, that's not a very good indication first. So maybe we'll just do, we'll, we'll go a little bit easier. And that still cut through it. Let me bring you guys in. So now that you guys are in close, so far these are not performing very well. And this isn't even that sharp of a knife. Well, you can still see it cut right through it. Let's do this. I'm going to stick a potato inside of this glove. Never thought I'd be doing this either. And we'll just go real light. Okay, I didn't cut through it. Maybe a little back and forth. Okay, but if you... Okay, that didn't cut through it. Okay. Maybe it was just where that arm was hard and plastic. Okay, that still didn't cut through it. Okay, we'll switch to this knife that has a little bit of a serration on it. Okay, that's, that did pretty good. Mm. Well, if you saw back and forth a little bit, it'll, it'll cut right through it. Now we'll switch to this knife that has a, a real fine serration on it. And that was really, that almost cut through it. And that was really light too. Yeah, where it's serrated. Yeah. If you were to do this two or three times with, with this serrated blade, like if you were to just slip, well, They're definitely cut resistant. I wonder what would happen. I 
let's just say you got a really good, really good slice on a finger. Oh yeah, you're, <laughs> you're bleeding for sure. Let's try this one. No, you're still good. I mean, you're definitely, you're better off than you would be without a glove. Let's try this knife again. Yeah, you can see that, that's not even, that's not even through there all the way. Okay, now let's try the trusty katana. Oh, <laughs> that, that just cut right through it. That just shows how sharp this katana is. Yeah, that, that cut right through it. What about a razor blade? Wow. Okay. That does way better than I would have thought with the razor blade. That was a lot of pressure. And you can see, you can see where it kind of split it a little bit, but it's not all that bad. That's actually really impressive. I figured the razor blade would mess it up the worst. All right, now we're gonna go with just a pocket knife. Wow. Wow, I didn't cut through cut through it at all. And this knife really really isn't that dull. It's pretty sharp. Alright, now let's bring out the big sword. <laughs> That really does way better than I thought. Huh. Well, that's impressive. All right, so for $10.99 a pair, I am very impressed with this. Now we are going to move on to the True Chef gloves, which by the name I can only assume are gonna be meant for the kitchen. So we'll bring out our paring knife again. Okay. Okay. I'm impressed so far. Okay, so about, about 10 passes and you'll be able to cut through with, at least with this knife. Okay, okay. Let's go to our razor blade. Okay. So far, I think that's a little bit better than the other one. We'll switch to this one. Okay. So if you just slipped once, uh, you might bleed. You might be bleeding a little bit, but so try this one. Wow. 
Yeah, I think these are definitely better than the than the no cry. And these are more expensive than the no cry. Let's test out the pocket knife. Okay, if you saw a little bit back and forth, you'll be able to cut through. But still, that's pretty. That's still pretty impressive. So now we'll go on <laughs> with the sword. Okay, so if you if you run into a sword battle, you are definitely screwed. If you do it real lightly, if you find a really easy sword battle, you'll be all right. But yeah, if you get into a sword battle with any type of pressure. So I'm also impressed with this one. I feel like these two so far have performed kind of the same and they are made of the same material. And of course they both have the same rating, but these are a little bit more expensive and I do feel like they performed a little bit better than these. Now we're moving on to the Dex Fit. These have the rubber palms. So we'll put our potato in here. And we'll see if this rubber really helps. Now you can kind of see that we, we at least cut through the rubber. Well, that was 15 passes on the on this one, it was 10 passes to cut through the glove. So this rubber is definitely helping. Let's go to this side. Well, and these didn't even cut through at all. Wow, just a little bit there. Try this serrated knife. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> that saws right through it. What about the rubber? Okay, it's cut, but it's still not through it. Okay, so that, yeah, that cut through it a little bit, but that's still way better than either one of these gloves that didn't have the rubber coating. I'm thinking that this, whatever fabric they use, whatever Dexfit uses, is better than whatever the other gloves we're using. Let's go with a razor blade. Okay. All right. Wow, that's way better. Yeah, that's cut through a little bit here, but still way better than the other ones. Let's see if we can take a finger off here. Ah, uh, I mean, that was, that was tough, especially this is a, a brand new razor blade. Wow. Let's try maybe the thumb. Okay, so we did we did make it through. But these other gloves, that would have took the, the finger piece right off. So this rubber and whatever this fabric is, is definitely a winner. Let's move on to our katana. Okay, right there at the very end, it cut through. What about the rubber? Okay, it cut through. But not on one pass though. I think it's gonna take two. Didn't even cut through it again. Well, yeah, it did a little bit. So you still can't go get in a sword fight. So last but not least is our anti-cut hand ski. And you're supposed to put this glove on and then put this over top of it. And you can see how it's kind of made of some like chain mail or something. So we'll put our potato inside of this glove. And personally, I don't think. Oh, you know what? You can see 
It looks like this is some type of like metal mesh that's like woven together because it does kind of kind of fray apart. Let's see if I can get that on camera. You can see right here that it looks like it's some type of like it's fraying apart like it's some type of steel wool or something maybe. All right, so I guess now we'll just move on to the razor blade. Which does cut through it. See if we can. So. So you can see it's some type of fiber. And it's not, this doesn't perform as well as I thought it would. I figured that this was some type of thicker metal and maybe, oh, especially if it's something serrated, it just kind of chews right through the, through the metal part. And just like the others, let's move on to the sword. And that did not cut through. So maybe if you, not even if you chop it, no, that still did not go through. Okay, we'll try this. Eh, you can see right there we cut through. So this is definitely performing, I'd say the best but not as good as I expected. All right, now that you have an idea of how each one of these performed, what we're gonna do is kind of like a, like a tournament. And since this bigger chef knife with those small serrations seems to be the most brutal on the gloves, what I'm gonna do is take each glove and cut off a, one finger of it completely. And each pass with the knife is gonna be a point. And the glove that has the most points at the end wins. It's just gonna be a quick, Easy, simple test, and that should tell us which glove is gonna be the most cut, cut resistant, even though they all have the exact same rating. Okay, first up is gonna be the no cry, and we're just gonna cut this thumb piece off. One. Well, we just got a little strand there. Okay, so a nice even 10 for the no cry glove. Next is gonna be our true chef. Seven. Seven for the true chef. Next is gonna be the dex fit. We'll cut this finger off. Eight. Wow. And now for what I can only assume is going to be the winner is going to be our metal glove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. That was. I did not expect that. All right guys, so kind of a crazy result. Not really what I expected. Our cheapest gloves performed the best, which I did not expect that whatsoever. And they kind of just lined themselves up. 10, 9, 8, and 7. I really expected the our, the metal gloves that are kind of like a chain mail or, or whatever. I expected them to do the best, and although they were the second best. But this really did answer my question that all of these being rated a level five, they all really performed very close to each other, which was kind of shocking. So however they come up with the rating, all these gloves definitely would fit in the same category. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything else that's cut proof or anything else you want me to test, just leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
So now what we're going to do with these shoes, these are not shoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this sword. This is not a sword. This is a knife. Oh, why can't I English? All right, so we're just gonna take this sword and we're just gonna cut right through here and we're just gonna... I don't even know what we're gonna do. I can't even talk. I'm gonna take this sword and I'm just gonna cut right through the... the glove. I'm gonna cut right through the glove. Ugh. I need sleep. I'm gonna take this glove and this sword and I'm just gonna slice it right open. It doesn't even make sense. I'm not slicing anything open. So now the next glove we're gonna test is gonna be this one, which is, this isn't even one of the gloves. Oh. 